India recently completed the first successful flight test of the ballistic missile defense interceptor missile off the coast of Odisha on Wednesday. This missile is capable of neutralizing long-range missiles such as China's Guam killer missile or the DF-26, as well as aircraft such as drones and fighters. The test was conducted from the APJ Abdul Kalam Island. And now, India is getting ready to launch another missile, which many people believe would be one of the Agni series missiles or the submarine-launched ballistic missile K-4, which is designed to be used by the country's indigenous nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. Because of the ongoing sequence of tests conducted by India, China has been made to feel uneasy, and as a result, China has sent yet another spy ship into the Indian Ocean. The Chinese spy vessel Yuan Wang-6, which is capable of monitoring these tests, has made its way into the Indian Ocean. The Chinese government has a history of routinely dispatching such spy ships to the Indian Ocean region in order to obtain technical information, most often around the time when India conducts its missile tests. These boats are able to monitor the velocity, accuracy, and range of ballistic missiles. The deployment coincides with a Chinese aerospace mission that will take place over the Bay of Bengal between the 15th and the 20th of November. If everything goes according to plan, the Yuan Wang-6 will be in close proximity to the splash zone where the Indian missile test will take place. However, the user testing of the ballistic missile that was supposed to take place the next week as part of the Strategic Forces Command may now be delayed. Early in August, India conveyed to Sri Lanka its deepest worries over the impending arrival of the Yuan Wang-5 at the port of Humbantota in the island nation south. Because of this, Colombo made the first decision to delay the docking, but, after doing a U-turn, they decided to go ahead and authorize it for the period of August 16 to August 22. Why does China seem to be so concerned about the missile test? In order to maintain a credible at sea deterrent, a nation's ballistic missile submarines SSBNs need to be able to target infrastructure and industrial centers inside the enemy nation. For India, this implies that its nuclear-powered submarines must not only be able to have deterrence against Pakistan, but also from China. Last month, India successfully tested a submarine-launched missile K-15, capable of carrying a nuclear warhead from an underwater site off the coast of Orissa, enhancing the country's deterrent capabilities. When compared to the range of the K-4 missile, the K-15's range is noticeably less. Arihant-class submarines would have to move close to enemy shores in order to successfully deploy K-15 submarine-launched ballistic missiles due to the missile's maximum strike range of approximately 750 kilometers. This would increase the likelihood that enemy submarines would detect the Arihant-class submarines. The answer is the intermediate-range K-4, the next missile in the K-series. The K-4 missile is a submarine-launched ballistic missile with an intermediate range that is capable of delivering nuclear warheads. The K-4 missile, in conjunction with the K-15 Sagarika SLBM, would provide the Arihant class of nuclear submarines, as well as her successes, with the capacity to launch nuclear strikes. This will round off India's underwater nuclear deterrent capability and provide the country with a nuclear triad. The length of the missile is 12 meters, and it is 1.3 meters across at its widest point. It has a mass of 17 tons and has the capacity to transport a nuclear payload of 2,000 kilos. It uses a solid fuel to power its engine. According to the experts at DRDO, the missile has a very little risk of making a circular mistake, making it very accurate. India's nuclear triad was completed in 2018 when the nuclear-powered submarine INS Arihant was equipped with K-15 missiles with a target range of 750 kilometers. Because of the K-15's range of 750 kilometers, it would only be feasible to strike Pakistani cities from the Arabian Sea. This reduces the region that the Pakistan Navy would need to keep an eye on in order to find an Indian nuclear submarine. But with K-4 and the second nuclear-powered submarine, INS Aragat, which will be commissioned next year, India would have the upper hand to exert psychological pressure on both Pakistan and China.
Another reason why China seems to be so worried about the missile development in India is because of the range of these missiles. There is not a single nation on the face of the earth that would ever disclose the exact range of the missiles that are in its arsenal. The Chinese government knows this and has said publicly that they believe the Agni-5 has a range of 8,000 kilometers, and India purposefully underestimates its military capabilities. This is due to the fact that, officially, Indian missiles do not pose a threat to the West. However, describing it as an intercontinental ballistic missile, with a range of over 8,000 kilometers, will change the attitude of Western audiences, who will then begin to consider India's ability to reach their shores and be vocal about it. China is undoubtedly interested in learning the K-4 missile's precise range and what cutting-edge capabilities it carried. To keep an eye on India's missile tests, China has a monitoring station on Koko Island, which is located in Myanmar, in addition to keeping an eye on their naval assets using satellites and sea-based radars. The recent test of Phase 2 of India's anti-ballistic missile defense system, AD-1, is another source of worry for China. This is due to the fact that the AD-1 missile was developed specifically to defend against Chinese ballistic missiles like the Dong Feng-26. India is also working on the new K-5 submarine-launched ballistic missile, which is estimated to have a striking range of about 5,000 km and will equal the Agni-5, India's current land-based intercontinental ballistic missile, being produced by the Defense Research and Development Organization. According to recent reports, the K-5 will have the capacity to transport four MIRV or multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle warheads, each weighing 500 kilograms. The Indian Navy's next-generation Arihant-class submarines will be armed with K-5 ballistic missiles when they are developed. If India is able to effectively add the K-5 missiles to its arsenal, it would demonstrate that it is equipped with the most ultimate nuclear triad which is the capacity of attacking an opponent through the air, land, or sea.